Last but not least, we're online with Marie-Cécile Perra from the FC Lab. She's the director. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, very good. All right. So the FC Lab, it's a very famous platform uh, in the region uh, located in Belfort. So maybe we can start with uh, a recap of the history of this uh, laboratory. Sure. Um, okay, next slide. So, yes, this is uh, the, the, the history of FC Lab is now 20 years of research. So it has been um, um, created in, uh, well, in the last century. Uh, and, uh, and, in the, um, and, uh, and now we have, we had two, um, for a few major uh, steps with the the um, run out of the the um, uh, it's dedicated building for um, fuel cell testing uh, in 2002 and uh, in 2012 the creation of, of a research uh, federation and uh, and the, the, to structure um, the activities in uh, Bourgogne Franche Comté, and now in two, in 2020, we had the creation of a center for research and service. And I can give you a few inputs about what are the main change if with this creation. So next slide. Okay. So we're going to see. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So for, since the beginning, the historical positioning of our uh, research center was de definitely to be involved in the integration of hydrogen system for stationary and transportation applications. As uh, our colleague from AVL said, well, just do it. I mean, this was the, our um, position. And uh, we wanted also since the beginning to uh, stick to scientific, social, economical, political and industrial evolutions. So we are not only um, research concept, but of course application. So uh, if you're familiar to the uh, re um, technology readiness levels, we are um, we work on projects from three to four and even six to seven and we have very few very few projects projects very very close to their uh, commercial step so we our facilities are unique in europe from the academic point of view uh, so we have this building uh, built since the beginning to um, nest some uh, hydrogen activities uh, test benches and the uh, um, ability to reproduce uh, environmental um, operation, meaning uh, uh, concerning the vibration and climatic environment in our applications and, of, and the ability to have a long duration test. Next slide. Okay, maybe the, the, the previous one. Yes, one, yeah. uh, I want just uh, to um, give you an idea of what we're, what we, what we're doing here uh, with the MobiPost project, which was a, an a European project for the uh, to have an integrated solution for postal delivery. So uh, the the project covered uh, the production uh, the, uh, of green hydrogen until the Deli postal delivery. So what we have done here was the design and the realization of the um, powertrain of the vehicles. So as can be seen here, we had a, a complete development in the lab and then until the, 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 the test on road of 10 vehicles. And uh, we are still using the data collected uh, in real operation uh, during the, of the 10 vehicles. And we are very proud to have also a second generation of these uh, vehicles now used in, in high school of the area uh, of Bourgogne-Franche-Comté. Yes, so next that's slide. true. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we can carry on with the next slide. Uh, okay. If the mouse <laughs> Maybe, but anyway, to we are to also to very to proud so to have a world. Projects. It's about a refrigerated trailer for. Yes, for absolutely. Uh, so it's a pity you can't see the the vehicle, but in fact, it was uh, uh, the first time ever. Um, uh, the um, sorry, 
Yes, oh, no, it's the <laughs> that we have a refrigeration body for heavy goods vehicles uh, on the road. So meaning that the 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 uh, the the the, 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 the well, sorry the cold was produced from uh, hydrogen. Yes, from a hydrogen system, uh, which is uh, at the bottom of the of the vehicle. And uh, it means that the, the, the generation of the cold was completely green and uh, completely uh, um, um, CO2 free. That's great. And it works. It works because it delivers, yeah. it delivers yeah. some well, yogurts. So we it. definitely need a good uh, uh, to be cold. <laughs> and, okay. and, and in production in a, in a few years from now, that's true. Yeah. Already we can shift to the following one. Next, so next. We have also activities in not only in mobility, but also um, for stationary applications. And this is an example because we there is a big challenge we are going to face in the coming uh, decades, which is the incredible increase of um, consumption of energy for to supply the data center. And it's a, it's a big challenge, and the idea here is to um, uh, propose solution of 100% green data center and safe data center because, of course, we have to face the uh, uncertainty and uh, and um, unpredictability of the uh, renewable energies for these applications. So th this is this is a tricky challenge. Okay, maybe to conclude. Uh, yeah, your new to conclude on our evolution. So this is the this is the picture of our activities and the networking in research. Uh, so uh, the the whole well a big a big uh, uh, east part of the France, and uh, and the idea is to have uh, so if we can go to the next slide. Yes, we can. Okay, so. We face to the three the, those three challenges: energy efficiency, durability, and economical, social, and environmental sustainability. Because probably as uh, present as it was uh, presented in the previous by the previous speaker, we really need to have an eco, a, a global system at the uh, um, uh, at the level of the area to have. Uh, to, to, to have uh, to be able to promote this uh, hydrogen. Okay, so next slide. And yes, this is and the big um, the big modification. Well, the big evolution in our structure is really to reinforce our service activities in three uh, uh, areas. First, the test campaign, uh, and we can offer just a infrastructure but also up to our uh, to offer our uh, analysis coming from 20 years of expertise uh, studies engineering studies for from facilities up to the test of prototypes and um, customized uh, education program okay so that's it that's it thank you so Natalie do we have some questions for the director of the FC lab Yes, uh, a question. Was, was, uh, FC Lab works on trucks uh, or light vehicle project. Mm -hmm. uh, do you work on an aeronautics project or of grid project in Ireland, for example? Okay, so for for the for the um, uh, uh, aeronautic, we we have some uh, we had some pro we have some uh, projects for light um, planes, not uh, not for. Uh, um, uh, not, not uh, well. The, 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 this is a niche market. More, we work more on a niche market uh, concerning light uh, um, light planes. And the second aspect of the question, I don't remember what was of it. Grid uh, on islands, for example. Yes, yes, absolutely. We have, uh, especially, we worked with uh, um, uh, La Réunion and with uh, um, the Polynesia. Not not only for the for the nice place, uh, but, but also because they are they have specific uh, problems for uh, to to gain energy autonomy, and uh, this is uh, the, this is a, a great challenge because uh, of course the the 
to to supply energy green energy in and safe and safe and uh, a reliable energy uh, from renewable energy in microgrids is really a big challenge and hydrogen is probably a key technology to achieve that okay uh, to another question uh Possibly, uh, two promising startups come from FC Lab, H2C and MyTech. Are you proud to give birth to innovative companies? Have you future uh, creation coming soon? Um, for the moment, I, 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 can't, I can't give you an announcement, unfortunately, but this is absolutely one. Our goal is really to promote uh, the innovation and creation of spin off uh, among our. Um, uh, PhD students especially Be and, and we are very um, aware of that question and we and there are all, um, we, we we have uh, actions to um, give them opportunities in that field okay thank you Marie-Cécile Perra uh, 